what's up everyone and happy tuesday i hope everyone is having a great day a beautiful day and a blessed day as always listen i know that it is a little late tonight but i actually had excuse me to work um a later shift today so when i got home you know i had some things to do i had to eat i just had to overall settle down right and just feel um out what i wanted my message to be today and at first I was a little undecided, just, you know, really trying to figure it out because I really like to give messages for one that come from God. And when he sends me things, of course, but also things that be on my heart, right? Some things that I feel like that if I'm going through, I know somebody else is going through it or just overall, again, some things that's just on my heart that I feel like somebody needs to hear. And so tonight I was... um. As um, me and my kids finished eating, I was sitting here having a conversation with my older son. And then at the end of the conversation, I just, you know, was talking to him and asking him what it is that he wanted to do in his life. Because, again, he's at the age where, listen, son, you got to have, like, some type of plan, right? And he told me, and listen, I was very well, like, okay, yes, it's something that I feel like I know he can do and that... I agree with right you know what i'm saying because i feel like first and foremost as a, as parents we should um that our kids you know choose their own paths in life right as well as long as they're doing something that's not hurting anybody and they're just really pursuing something you know with the um result of trying to be better then listen i'm all for it listen yes so um but my message today is really um about breaking generational curses because I feel like oftentimes we don't really understand that we really have the power to break generational curses because oftentimes in life, you know, we go through a cycle generation after generation of repeated behavior of, you know, each generation doing the same thing of each generation, you know, not amounting to too much or nothing because it's, be it's because of the simple fact that we've seen certain things or certain behaviors and certain habits but for so long that we choose to end up picking those things up and as a result again we continue to do the same thing repeating the cycle that's why they call it a generational curse because it continues to happen in each generation but again knowing that you have the power to be a generational curse breaker listen we all have that power so for me what i want to tell you guys is that we have to first be the example as parents because everything starts at home. So if we, of course, first and foremost, I know we have the, the right mindset, right, to teach our kids, right, to talk to them and tell them right from wrong and everything else. But in that same sense of you telling a child right from wrong, you know, they have to see, you have to also be an example, show them the difference so that they can pick them same habits up and take from you what they seen you do and be if just like you or even better because, again, we know that, kids see things that's why some kids can see a certain negative behavior from being a child right and grow up even exhibiting those same behaviors or either following in their parents footsteps or whoever raised them footsteps because they seen something for so long while growing up so why not switch that thing around right and allow them to see something good allow them seeing you to be great allow them seeing you pursuing what it is that you love allow them just seeing you being positive allow them overall seeing you doing the best that you can do in life because i promise you most people will pick that up and then therefore you will lead to a generation of the the generation continues to be great to be great 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 and greater why because they seen their parent or they're seeing their cousin or they're seeing their sister or they're seeing whoever you know continue to do good and and be successful in life so then the the motivation is going to be listen i seen them do that then that means i can do that because again you seeing people who you are not only related to but people that are relatable because you're like listen i know where you know my mom came from i know where my sister came from i know where my brother came from i seen them struggle i seen this and if i because of the simple fact that i seen them go through these things and overcome them as well as having the level of success that they have is motivation to a lot of people people get inspired by people who are relatable by people who have struggled and came out on top 
So from here on out, let's strive to be generational curse breakers and also being the example, setting the example, because again, you can't just teach a child something and through words and feeling like that's going to be the only impact that they need. No, they also are looking at what you are doing. So be the example that your, that your kids need or anyone who's around you, be that example that they need so that, you know, you can see progress in each generation that comes after you so that you can see success in any every generation that comes after you and not the lack or the poverty that they feel like our society or our race continuously have because we don't you know leave no generational wealth right all we leave is generational curses behind so instead of leaving generational curses behind let's start leaving generational wealth behind so that we can make a move right that has never been made before so that we can beat the odds right and do things that people think that we can't do right even though it's not about what the people think that we can't do it's it's, it's about what god knows that we can do it's about what god has put on us for us to do and the abilities that we have to overcome all things that come our way so again listen being an example and being a generational curse breaker so i hope that this message has inspired motivated encouraged and um uplifted anyone who it reaches so as always you guys let's be motivated but most importantly let's stay inspired